that's an average of about right now three weeks from start to finish of a bus yeah but of course that doesn't mean that you only produce one bus every three weeks you know as you've seen there are many buses online so three weeks is just the time it takes to produce a bus but other buses can be produced after those three weeks so guys i'm so happy about this video i'm about to take and embark on uganda manufacturing their own buses electrical buses and cars and it's breathtaking and mind blowing and these honestly actually this was originally the original the inception of this was by the university where they, they, they was in a project a pilot project which we were trying to make electrical vehicles and then it came out so good the government backed the project funded it and then turned it into a business now they're manufacturing vehicles and don't forget uganda has lithium so they don't have to worry about where they're going to get lithium to get their batteries for their vehicles so quick side note ugandan government own 96 percent of the manufacturing plant and the shares while they give four percent to the university which was a good move because the university will actually have more money to keep on funding other projects so it's a brilliant move by Museveni. love that so anyway, let's take a look at the buses and see how they look so that one is the car holder the car holder diesel couch and this one is more of a refined car this one has look leather interior reclining seats it have electrical hydraulic system that you know goes up and down depending on, on, on the road and um it's beautiful it has um wi-fi it has charging ports for, for, for your for your phone it has um leg rest it has um a tray for if you want to eat or drink or even use a laptop to work and in the night this also illuminate me giving it this beautiful finish as i can see on the screen and as you can see this is what i'm telling people african country has brilliant engineers anyway let's continue it has an on-board um, on fridge and also an on-board toilet. Look at the toilet. And that's also a brilliant idea to have um, um, a motion and dispense because well, you don't want to be touching something everybody else uses. So anyway, continue. Now, this one is the electric bus. This one is the, 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 like the brainchild of the university. And this one has, it's more of a public transportation. It holds 90 persons. I think it, in, oh, it holds... 45 seating and 44 standing roughly but it's 90 person it calls and it can drive up to 3000 km 3000 miles and one charge and that's a long long distance this one is not as beautiful it's not as refined but because you cannot have a um a transport a public transportation bus that will be too much refined like the first one which is a diesel couch and cola that's one of it is more for long long journeys like um five hour drive or a six hour drive this is more like daily use constant use you see that the handles to hold on to and look at those vibrant colors to make a to make, i'm telling you the african continent is a uh, one of a kind let's pause the video there and let me just explain something quick and fast and this stemmed from because japan didn't want to assemble their cars in uganda when Museveni asked them to you're making 19 billion annually from us. Put back some of that money, put back some of that money in our economy. They refused. They said, no, we're going to do everything from Japan and you can just buy our cars. Now, when this project came about and they started to design their own vehicles and, and you know, in use, here come the Japanese running back. Oh, um, we will now accept your, 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 um, your initial um agreement to assemble our cars here but you can, then most of it said no 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 you're way too late when i wanted to you didn't want to know because we have our own you want to come jump in to take a part of our market no i'll put i did, I did a video on it i'll put the link in the description so you can go and see for all those who didn't see it so let's continue so yeah love that so um i want to show you how when they was manufacturing when they was building the manufacturing plant as well so that's it there and um you can see the it's a it's a massive ground i forget how much acres it was sorry about that i will get it in the next video and this was the this was the in 2019 2020 this is when they started this project to money to to 
to build a manufacturing plant and to so take advantage. Let's look at the inside. I will see what the inside looks. Look at it. A space, spacious, beautiful, beautiful craftsmanship, well built. And as I said, Africa is full of engineers and brilliant people, which I don't know why people believe African countries is not like that. So let's look at some of the work they're doing. That's the frame of the bus. And as I can see, it's all, let me just pause it right there. It's all black South African. Not one white person is in this manufacturing process. And the school is also um, run by Ugandan. So this is why this is so um, important to me. And this is so, not even important is the word. This is why I feel so good about this. It's black run, black built, and so no one can come and say, oh, you see, you need Europeans to manufacture this or manufacture that. It's been done by Ugandan citizens, which is key in this. And it's not only men, you have women also working in this plant. Now you're going to see, um, I'm going to show you there, uh, you have this female welder, and what that's her there. Look at that, she's doing MIG welding. Which is not easy. But let's listen to what the floor manager is saying and how long it takes to put out one vehicle whenever time it's building from scratch to finish. Let's take a listen to what he's saying. It takes us an average of about right now three weeks from start to finish of a bus. Yeah, but of course that doesn't mean that you only produce one bus every three weeks, you know. As you've seen, there are many buses online. So three weeks is just the time it takes to produce a bus, but other buses can be produced after those three weeks. So there you have it. It takes roughly from start to finish three weeks, but not just for one. They had they working on others as well, but from start to finish three weeks. That's brilliant because it, it, it's not machine made as well. It's not like it's an assembly line. This is done by hand by man work by um yeah by hard labor by ugandans so there's no assembly line because assembly line is going to cut too much jobs and then you're going to have less people working and i don't think mr vaney would do something like that to cut the workforce to improve profit so no they're going to keep our laborers doing this by hand and it gives more people experience it gives people more a better living standard and they can also expand as time goes on for getting new fresh people then you, you train them have another plant and so forth and, until they reach the point where you can export so i think roughly now they are manufacturing a little over a thousand buses per year and cars um i'm not going to show you a few of the cars the car is not for is not in rotation as yet like the bus is but i'm going to show some pictures of it look up there that's it there look at that finishing look at that style it's sleekness and it's designed specifically for that region of the continent and it's electric as well don't forget that and look at that small green one there it's more like a mini cooper me personally i don't like small cars but i like the, the um the, the sedan one is much better for me anyway so what do you guys think of this uganda is manufacturing their own vehicles are because of the Japanese refusing to assemble their car in Uganda while they're making over 19 billion annually. All Mr. Vili asked for was put back some of the money in our economy. But they refuse. Can you believe that? They're making 19 billion and they refuse. So he didn't argue, he didn't fuss. He just what? They went and designed and manufactured their own vehicles. So, and um, me personally think this is coming from Abraham Traore. I will always refer to Abraham Traore of Burkina Faso. He has made so much stride in Burkina Faso. It makes other presidents look like they're, not, like, like they're not doing anything. So because of that, now they have to step their game up to match what Abraham Traore did. Because now they cannot use the excuse of because of colonial, colonialism or because of slavery. It does, it's, it's an issue. Colonialism is an issue because a lot of people's minds are still colonized. Slavery is an issue because it set us back, but that's not the only issue. 
some of the reason why the African continent has moved much further is because of corruption, bribery, and corruption on the level of not just they stealing African um, money from the citizens, but it's been done by the Westerners. They come and they put in their own precedents to make sure the country does not move forward at, in any way. And when they're getting too much of heat, they throw them a bone and say, okay, tell them this so they can ease off or ease you off a little bit. If that's the case as well, but we cannot solely blame it on that. We still need to this person to step up. It's time for them to step up. And Abraham Chow had laid the blueprint in making it lead, doing infrastructure, bringing, designing plants, making new manufacturing, um, industrializing the country, giving the citizens work, um, producing their own food. Uh, he's pouring money into local and uh, local farmers to train others as well to farm and to become to be food reliant instead of exporting, importing these products. So anyway, Uganda, President Museveni, great move. Love this. So guys, let me know what you think about this. What do you think about this? Hit me up in the comment section and let me know what's going on. Don't know. Tell a friend, tell a friend, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you watch this video to the end, just boop and click the like button. It helps. You don't know. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Boom.